please read this disclaimer carefully before proceeding further. All right, traders, let's look at gold. Um, gold has been actually giving us a very confusing signals over the past week, and that was kind of expected. That's why I personally have not been trading on gold uh, for an entire week uh, because I knew that you know there were conflicting signals uh, which could happen around this level, and. Um, you see the market went up and then finally came back down to create a kind of like a you know, doji candle here um, in the past week so if you were trading like you know um, as a day trader or uh, had a short term trades on gold that might have actually worked but from swing trading point of view and especially at this time of the year um, this was supposed to be a little risky for me so that's why I stayed out of this uh, market now I have a little bit better idea so I might give a little bit of shot on gold next week however I'll still be very very careful because the market conditions can change drastically in last few days of 2020 so what do we do um, to, with gold let's look at uh, from higher time frame so let's start with the monthly time frame what we see here is that the market has been falling down um, after the completion of that W pattern that we have been following since the uh, since late July and August and we have been able to take several short positions few long positions but several short positions here now the market is struggling with this moving average right here and that is why it is uh, going little bit upwards and this may actually end like this and if December ends like a bullish candle like this then in January it can start to move upwards into towards like you know 1940 uh, level or so but let me remind you again there is a very important level of 1928 uh, which is um, kind of like a you know, critical level for gold so in January if it starts to move upwards then you have to be careful around that 1928 but that all depends on how this candle actually finishes in the month of December Okay. so if I go to the weekly time frame what I noticed uh, is that market is creating an M pattern here and that M pattern actually does not complete here so this move is not because of that completion of M pattern that M pattern actually completes somewhere around here near about um, 1720 level or so okay uh, but because we had an early move upwards that basically tells me that it can actually fall back down even further okay so instead of actually reversing from here it can go further down so I'm looking for near about 1700 level or so near about this level but it can go down further down and if you want to find out more about like you know how I found those levels and all that uh, because we have been uh, looking at those levels since uh, since August uh, 2020 uh, you can go and check out uh, the previous analysis uh, you'll also find the link to those analysis videos in, in the description of this video so this is what we're looking at um, on on weekly time frame now let's talk about the current candle structure okay now what we have is actually a huge move down okay it that's a very strong move down um, and then the market started to recover a little bit and now it is stuck as a doji now this is um, this doji actually usually dojis are like indecision in the market but this doji is has a different purpose and uh, let me come to that in a second um, I'll, I'll show you exactly what I mean by that but the pay attention to the rejection that actually has happened from the top okay so that basically tells that market was actually taking um, a break like you know from this um, a bearish move and it was going upwards but at some point in time there was a heavy sell on gold so the ultimately the entire week finished as a doji there is a little bit of bullishness in there but there is a rejection here and that gives a better hint that market may wants to go back down however doji is a doji so it can actually start moving upwards as well so um, why we need to like you know, be careful is because of this doji Doji has 50-50 chance whether it wants to go up or down but in this case the chances of going down are more because of this rejection and because of another reason that I'm going to just uh, talk about in a, in a few seconds. So if I um, bring in original analysis this is what you are looking at. 
okay two weeks ago we um, we planned for a long trade and uh, we knew that market was going to come into FCP zone and I was no and I was no hurry in no kind of hurry to actually buy the gold at all um, because this FCP zone is a very very powerful zone okay even if the market actually went above this but from swing trading point of view this was uh, going to be a very important zone and I was waiting for a right kind of confirmation to go for um, a long entry and I did not um, why because I knew that you know around this area there could be some like you know confusion and that's the result of that confusion market went up created few bull trap uh, sorry uh, yeah bull traps and then started to fall back down so this move actually paid off and I was personally able to take profits at a 9, um, 1848 level right there as soon as the market touched it I was able to get out of my position so this is where I got out I entered around here got out here and I did not care anything about like you know what market was telling me here because you see this is a bull trap market came back down um, below that FCP zone and now it is it retested tried to retest again and now it is stuck between this 1834 level and that FCP zone. So if you want to wait for, if you want to go for a long entry on gold, I suggest that you should be looking for a confirmation from this level, from the break of this FCP zone once again. But you'll have to be again careful with this new level which has formed in the market. That's 1875. Now. I was talking about why there is more chances of it actually falling down so let me actually show you that so the market has been bearish like this and there is an internal pattern which actually has completed here on lower time frame so if I draw Fibonacci from that point to the lowest point here you see the market has not been able to go and close above 38.2 so that basically tells me that market wanted to stay below this 38.2 somehow towards the end of the week it it finally managed to complete below 38.2 which basically tells me that you know if I get a good confirmation after this 1834 then I can go to look I can look for a short position okay but one thing that has happened is that now this level is actually a kind of zone here because of the previous um, uh, market move so it should be treated as a zone here okay so what is the plan on gold then so the plan on the gold is um, I'll be looking for a short opportunity preferably um, but if I get a long opportunity here I will go and take the take my profits at this level of 1875 and then I will go into this FCP zone and then I will follow all these levels in steps so one step at a time okay and if I get a short opportunity after 1834 595 then I'll go for a short into 1795 and similarly I will keep on following these steps ultimate target is going to be around 1680 or so and as I said before uh, the market can actually go down um, because there was an initial reaction here it can actually fall down to this level here as well uh, which is near about 1600 okay and if I go to the monthly time frame and just remove everything and if I draw fib on this level from this point to this point okay so you will notice that this is 38.2 right there at 1685 that's the FCP zone that we were talking about and the next level is going to be the one I was talking about the deeper one that is near about 15 63 so somewhere around like you know 1600 or so but for that it needs to go through all of those levels and I'm not expecting that to happen very soon because you see the problem here is there are so many barriers here uh, which is good um, see if the market starts to fall down and comes towards this FCP zone then most probably it is going to coincide with a bit of the Bollinger Band here around here and that will provide enough support for market to go up so for now I will just put a line here as the next level so we will see like you know how the market plays out and I will update this analysis in time but that's what we are looking at I'm bullish on gold um, for a longer period of time but you cannot actually ignore this uh, correction a correction is actually a good thing because when correction happens the market finds enough 
value in the market to to be bought so a lot of people will jump in a lot of institutions will jump in when the gold actually reaches at um, a normalized level where it becomes a value proposition so um, um, after this parabolic move a correction is actually a good thing and I'll be looking to buy heavily once it has reached one of these levels here so if I go back to the daily time frame this is how it is looking ultimately okay let me quickly remove this Fibonacci and that's what you have okay so this is my analysis on gold hope you enjoyed this uh, you have to be extra careful just a, is there a final reminder you have to be extra careful in the final days of 2020 um, but uh, that's my plan this is what I'm going to follow I'm going to follow in steps as I said and um, if you enjoyed this analysis make sure that you share it with other traders trading communities platforms and groups and uh, hit the like button and in the comment section let me know um, what you think about this analysis and what is your opinion on gold um, like you know are you trading gold as of now and if you are then what is your opinion on gold all right I'll, I'll see you in the next one thank you if you are interested in learning how to analyze the markets the way I do using Fibonacci Confluence then head over to vikinsa.com and under training section you'll be able to see core strategy training program on this page you will be able to see the testimonials of previous students and also uh, look at the brochure the brochure has a lot more information including the course structure and the Fibonacci Confluence training program curriculum this is a very extensive program in which we cover basic core Fibonacci concepts along with the advanced concepts to analyze the markets with high probability if you are interested in joining this program come to vacancer.com and under training section you'll be able to see and submit this form